What's happening, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Joshua Elder here once again. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Anik Singhal's latest book. It's called Escape, The Four Stages of Becoming a Successful Entrepreneur. And I really wanted to get this out to you guys because I truly believe that it will be of huge service to you. So first of all, am I an affiliate of this book? Yes. Do I get paid? Yes, I get 20 cents every time he sells this book. So this is more so for Anik than for myself and also more so to get the message out, most importantly to you guys, because I believe this is truly a book that will impact you, whether you're new or you're struggling. Maybe you've had some success in the past, you're a successful entrepreneur, but you need to get re-energized, you need to get re-motivated and refocused. I truly believe that this is the book for you. I just ordered my copy, so I'm excited to get this to my house because it just, uh, you know, this just released today. So I've known Anik for quite a while. We go back uh, a couple years, and he is the most down to earth. And I'm not just saying this, but this guy is the most down to earth internet marketer that I've ever met in my life. I remember talking to him in the lobby at the hotel and the event that we both spoke at. And he came up to me and asked what my name was, what I did, if you know I ever needed anything to write him on Facebook, to email him. You know, he was just somebody that's willing to give when he has everything, which is like super rare in this industry. And just his story and his ability to tell stories is incredible. And this is some somebody that I look up to and somebody that I hope to, you know, aspire to become like, you know, as my business grows. So that being said, what is this book exactly about? And before we dive into it, you know, if, if you're looking forward to learning more about this book, give me a like, please um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I upload consistent quality content every single day on how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. So escape. You can get access to the book anytime in the description. Go ahead and click that. This book is free. You just pay for shipping. And again, I get like 20 cents in commission, which is cool. Um, so this is, again, more so for, for Anik and, and for just spreading this message more than anything. And I hope to create something like this in the near future. But let's talk a little bit about um, what this book really is about. And the sales page itself does an even better job than I can even explain to you. But it really walks you through the four stages and what to expect when developing yourself into an entrepreneur. A lot of people that have never walked a path, you know, they, they don't know what to expect. They don't know how to prepare for heartache, for trial, for, you know, when they try things and they don't work out or how to deal with family when they don't believe in you going for your dreams. Maybe you want to drop out of college and start your own business. Maybe your friends are negative. Maybe, you know, you're just having a difficult time breaking through mentally because you don't believe in yourself because people told you your whole life that you can, you know, do what you truly want to do. You know, you spent your life being told by your teachers what to do, your family, what to do, your friends, what to do. So this really helps you gain awareness. I think awareness is the key to success. We can become aware of why we think the way that we do, why we act the way that we do, why we're at in the place in our life where we're at. Once we understand that, we can kind of really understand that it's not even our fault most of the time and that we have the ability to change it and that we're just wired and we're programmed. So he talks about going from the employee to the entrepreneur and what happens in between. So number one, he talks about self and self is really understanding who you are at the core and that you are in fact an entrepreneur at heart. Everybody is born an entrepreneur Everybody was born to think that they were Superman, Batman. I, I was like super into Pokemon when I was like in fourth grade. Like that was the thing when I was younger. And I literally thought I was going to be Ash Ketchum. And I thought I was going to go out there with a Pokeball and literally catch Pokemon. I even remember building this. I was in the process of building this huge fort. And I was going to like paint it with all the Pokemon characters. And I, I thought it was real. You know, like no one could tell me 
that it wasn't real until I started getting around people that were like, well, Santa Claus is fake. You know, this Pokemon stuff isn't real. You can't fly. You can't be Superman. You know, you'll never have a Batmobile. All these types of things. The more that you hear it, it kind of wears on you and you become conditioned. Right. So we're born as entrepreneurs. We're born to think and believe that we can do anything, which is the truth. We can do anything. If we can't fly, we're going to develop something that's going to help us fly. Right. That's what the Wright brothers did. So it's really understanding self. Just kind of want to go through this without like boring you guys by reading this verbatim. But self is the next step in the triangle after employee. Employee is is where most people are for their entire lives. They live their lives only working uh, for the dreams of others. This is the base of the triangle, but you don't have to be stuck here. So industrial revolution, right? Created a ton of factory jobs. They created the nine to five system as we know it. Um, And now that system's outdated, just like MS-DOS computers are outdated. New software, um, works now that wouldn't work before you know we're developing and the world is constantly changing but as far as the nine to five system we still live in the same system that we lived in in you know the the early 1900s and that hasn't changed same with the school system and so the school system is designed to teach you how to pretty much read the book memorize the book and then take a test what's based off of what's in the book. You don't learn like social skills. You don't learn about taxes. You don't learn about running an actual business. You don't learn anything about yourself and how the mind really works, right? And so we get wired into this employee mindset as if that's the way of life. Like who created this nine to five system, right? Who who was the, the guru that said, that came to all people and said, you will work eight hours a day, right? We just like went through school, not even questioning that, just saying, oh, this is the, a part of life. So we get wired to be this employee and then we go through the, the self process of discovering ourselves, discovering that we're truly entrepreneurs at, at heart. And then we go to stage two, which is catapult. And he says, now for those who make it into this stage, it's time to ignite momentum. Rome wasn't built in a day, neither will your dream uh, life be. So here the smartest entrepreneurs use five strategies to inspire rapid momentum. And he covers five strategies. And this is one of the most difficult parts because this is where entrepreneurs don't trade time for money. You have to understand that the work you do today will impact you tomorrow. The work you do today may not make you money for months and even years. You're not going to realize that work for quite some time where we lived in in this instant gratification society where if we put in eight eight hours of work, we're going to get eight hours worth uh, of of pay, right? And that's not how entrepreneurship works. If you look at, you know, content that I put on my YouTube channel, for example, five months ago, it's not benefiting me until today. Right? So you have to realize that with the entrepreneur mindset, number one, don't do it for the money, do it for the impact because the impact is what's going to drive you forward when times get tough. The impact is like, well, I'm not getting any monetary results, but guess what? I'm helping people. Even if it's just one person, I'm serving somebody out there and that's what will keep you moving forward. True entrepreneurs forget about the money and they look to make impact. And that's really where this catapulting phase happens. And as you're building your business, once you start having success, you develop authority and leadership. That's where you can build teams. You can start to automate your business. You can start to delegate tasks uh, and actually have your own employees Um, and inspire people to do the work to do to buy into your vision right whatever that vision is if people are going to follow you um, they have to believe what you're saying and for them to believe what you're saying you have to be able to talk like an authority and be an authority carry yourself like an authority typically people won't follow you if you're not a leader and if you don't know how to be a leader uh, you're you're not going to have 
uh, that following, you're not going to have an audience and you're not even going to have employees that would love to work with you. So leadership is huge. And this is, I think this is one of the steps that's hardest for most entrepreneurs because there's communication skills involved. There's a lot of reading and studying uh, and really getting clear on what you want. Because if you're not clear on what you want, it's so difficult for you to get clear on on what other people want. And that's the problem in a lot of like, for example, like network marketing, while people are trying to fill their cup and learn their business, at the same time, they're trying to help other people, but yet they're not clear on what they're doing. So it's sort of the blind leading the blind. So you got to have authority and leadership. And then stage four, you need to have people around you. If you don't have the right people around you, if you don't have a network, right? They say your network is your net worth. You need to have the right people around you that will help you get to the next level, that are your mentors, that are like your soundboard, that are like people that uh, that truly like have what you want and that will push you. Your environment is everything. If you hang out with a bunch of sheep, you know, in essence, metaphorically speaking, then you will become a sheep. Have you noticed that when you hang around with certain people, you start acting like they do, you start talking like they do, and your income tends to be the same as theirs or close based off of how much time you spend with them? It's very, very powerful. Just by being in a certain environment will dictate what your reality is. So stage four is all about helping you and showing you how important your network is and how to actually get around the right people that have what you want, mixing in with people that have the lifestyle, that have the money, that have the relationships that you want. And then when you accomplish those stage in between employee and entrepreneur, you become an entrepreneur. You've now conquered these four stages, stage one, two, three, and four. This is where you truly flourish. This is where you truly have that time freedom that you've desired, the, the ability to, to travel, the ability to make an in, impact, contribute. Uh, maybe you want to provide something for your great, great, great grandchildren, some sort of uh, book, some sort of life lessons, maybe in a video series. Like that's something that I would love to do is be able to impact my children and their children and help them overcome a lot of the things that I've have dealt with and most people deal with in their life, like comparing, you know, trying to keep up with the Joneses, these facades of what we think will make us happy versus what really makes us happy. Right. So I'm super excited for this book. I'm going to read it cover to cover. I think this is something that will benefit you. Um, it's available for a limited time. As you can see, here's the clock counting down as we know it. Um, so If you want access to it, up to you guys. Uh, Regardless, I hope you got value from this video. And to get access, just click the link in the description below. And uh, let me know if you've got your copy in the comments. Comment below and say, I got my copy. Let me know that you're serious. Let me know that, um, you know, now is a time. Now is your time, right? Leaders, as they say, are readers. As cliche as that sounds. The more information you're gathering, regardless if you're like confused, how I do, how I get started, how do I get started? Like, what do I need to do first? A lot of people get caught up in these step-by-step details, like thinking that if they just methodically think about each step, that they're going to do things right the first time. Money likes speed, guys. Success likes speed. The more that you can try and experiment the faster that you can do these things and just test a bunch of different ways of building your business and trying different philosophies on the faster you're going to get to success. And that's just the truth, right? So go through this book, take what it teaches, implement it. And I hope to see your success. I hope to see that you take what's from, you know, this book and actually implement it. So like this video, if you got some value, subscribe, Check out Escape below. Again, that's an acronym for Employee, Self, Catapult, Authority, People, and Entrepreneur. I wish somebody gave me a step-by-step game plan 
to becoming an entrepreneur, knowing the expectations, because I had no idea. I thought when I first got started, I could just press a button and make a bunch of money. Obviously, it doesn't work out like that. So, you know, to know the expectation of what it really takes and know that you're on the right path when you deal with some of the trials based off of what you read here, like you, you just know that you're on the right path. So thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna end it now. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.